I got three trades in the mail over the past couple of days, but first I want to show off my uh, brand new background. The Let's Find Pokemon is a book that's similar to the Where's Waldo series, um, but obviously with Pokemon. And I found it at a hospice sale yesterday. It's uh, basically like a giant yard sale um, for hospice. And picked it up for 50 cents. And it really surprised me that it was it's pretty much in mint condition. It's probably been used or, you know, read through a few times. Um, but the copyright date is right when Pokemon first came out in the U.S. So if you notice, the artwork is, um, you know, definitely the old school style. Um, so, yeah, we have Pallet Town on Parade, Viridian Forest, Mount Moon. Cerulean City, Celadon City, um, let's see, this is Lavender Town, uh, the Ghost Tower, Safari Zone, and the Elite Four of Indigo Plateau. And so in every one, um, some of the things uh, have mazes that you're supposed to go through, um, mo all of them have just certain Pokemon that you're supposed to find and then um, there's the answers and then they have um, some more difficult puzzles where they have you pick out different things um, there's a couple little storylines that you can you can read through through following all the pages of uh, Mankey, Primeape and then another story with Execute and Chansey um, the answers to the more difficult puzzles and then all the copyright stuff so I thought this was pretty cool um, definitely for 50 cents, well worth, um, the pickup. And I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with it. Um, I don't know if it's worth anything, if it'd be worth selling. Um, but it's in such good condition, I might just consider keeping it. But yeah, so now that I've shown that off, um, let's get to the trades. So the first trade I got in the mail was on, um, Friday, and this is um, kind of the last part of a several part trade with Super Temporary 2. Um, basically we made a trade, she had me buy some um, booster packs for her and open them, and then I traded her, her, um, traded her for some things in there. Um, but the last card in our trade she had to send, and it just came in, and it is a Wobbuffet Promo Hollow. So pretty excited about that. Um, I've got several of the HeartGold Soul Silver promos so far, um, but I haven't been doing a very good job of keeping up with them. Um, still need Latios and Latias, um, but I did find someone to trade me Cluffin and Smoochum, so that's pretty exciting. And as an extra, she sent a Manectric Rare from Arceus. So again, that is Super Temporary 2, very trusted trader. And the second trade is, comes all the way from the Netherlands, and it is um, Kabuto, Kab Kabooter Terror, and the note has a Pikachu, or sorry, Pichu, drawn, and the note says, Hey Computer 3 and CSU, thanks for trading me the Pikachu cards, they're a nice add to my collection. I hope the cards are in good condition when you get them, you're awesome. Uh, Linda Kabuto Terror, and I can't remember if we traded back when I first started collecting on YouTube. Um, she kind of took a break, I think, for a while, um, but sent me a PM the other day about another trade. She's a huge Pikachu fan, um, so I traded her some Pikachu cards for these. And the trade was for a Floatzel GL Hollow for my deck, um, so I think I now have the Floatzels that I need, so I won't be needing any more, but thank you very much for the last one. And a Yon Mega Hollow from Legends Awakened. Um, I thought I had a complete set of this until I looked in the binder and saw that my Yon Mega was a hollow, I mean a non-hollow rare when it should have been a hollow, um, as well as I think my Heatran was a, um, a hollow when it was supposed to be a rare. So basically I had the deck promos instead of the, the, the set cards. So now I had to find them down, so, or find them down, <laughs> I had to track them down. Um, but she was nice enough to send me the Yon Mega hollow. And then she also sent some extras. Oh, forgot. She also sent them in these really cool sleeves that I don't have yet. Um, 
I don't know if these are something that you just bought in the stores, because they de definitely don't feel or look like the pre-release cards. But it has Dialga and Palkia, Darkrai, Cresselia, um, Pachirisu, Turtwig, Empoleon, and Piplup. So, really cool sleeves. And then the extras. Let's see. An Apom, a Vulpix, a Teddy Ursa, and the best one, a Rare Blastoise. Um, I've been looking for a couple of these just to replace the ones in my collection um, since I'm using um, the two in my collection are being used in my deck. Um, so this way I can put one back into my collection just to make sure it stays safe and sound and keeps the set complete. Alright, so awesome extras from Kabuto Terror. And the last trade that I got in the mail today um, was from the SMG Quest, a huge trade. But I'm going to wait until the next video to show it because it's probably going to take me a whole 10 minutes to go through all of these cards. So again, um, I'd love to hear your comments on the book. Um, I think it's really awesome. Never seen it before. And I love the just the old school artwork on it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.